professor, physician, epidemiologist. I am Dr. Sri Banerjee. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, core faculty for the College of Health Sciences and Public Policy at Walden University. In this segment, what I wanted to go over is the sacred holiday of um, the Islam, uh, the Islamic religion, uh, and that is um, uh, Ramadan. Uh, in some places, it's known as Ramzan. So let's get it started here. Uh, Millions of Muslims, and this is actually um, an article that just uh, came out in March, um, and uh, millions of Muslims in the UK and around the world um, are preparing to mark Ramadan, one of their holiest months in the Islamic calendar. Um, and also note that this has already begun, um, and uh, have about one week has passed. So uh, there's the five pillars of Islam, uh, and it's considered one of the holiest months uh, for Muslims. Um, and it's marked by a period of fasting. Uh, and then there's the five pillars. Um, and that's not gone over here. Uh, the five principles, though, um, is that they believe in uh, Muslims is uh, compulsory acts uh, which are ordered by God. Uh, the other pillars are faith, prayer, charity, and making the pilgrimage to the holy city of Mecca. Uh, Muslims believe that um, some of the first verses of the Islamic holy book, the Quran, were held, uh, revealed to the Prophet Muhammad during the month of Ramadan. This is why it's so important. Um, Extra emphasis is therefore placed on reciting the Quran at this time. Uh, Muslims are also encouraged to give charity, uh, strengthen their relationship with God, and show kindness and patience. Um, additional night uh, prayers are done sometimes uh, with, uh, w w with uh, believers um, who conduct uh, something called uh, tarawih. When is uh, Ramadan this year? It's uh, it goes with the moon cycle, which is why it's different every uh, year um, in our calendar. Um, in in the in the English calendar, um, in 2023, uh, Ramadan will uh, I will start on the evening of Wednesday, 22nd of March, and uh, this is as of this recording um, has passed, and then and will finish on the evening of Friday, 21st of April. So if you want to wish someone um, well, you say uh, Ramadan Mubarak, uh, Blessed Ramadan, Ramadan Karim. Um, how does, I, I think one of the most important um, parts that we all um, hear about is um, the fasting. Um, however, it varies and um, there, there's, there's some fundamental um, parts to this. Um, Muslims have an early morning meal before dawn, uh, known as suhoor or, or um, seri. Uh, they do not eat or drink anything, including water, until they break their fast after sunset for the evening meal, um, called uh, iftar or fitr. Um, fasting should only be done by people who are in good health. Muslims who are exempt, uh, those who are sick or ill, and whose health will be affected by fasting, uh, children who have not reached puberty, although some begin to practice fasting before then, uh, pregnant and breastfeeding women, uh, menstruating women, and travelers. Uh, so this is what uh, takes place, um, and then at the end there's a feasting uh, of Ramadan, uh, and the name of that is Yid al-Fitr, um, or the festival of breaking of the fast. Um, and then um, during the eve, uh, there's a morning prayer, um, and then uh, people kind of um, have a short prayer, 
um, they eat something sweet um, and then uh, it's it's like a festive occasion um, of course beyond the prayers um, every Muslim is uh, obliged to uh, donate to charity and I think there's some uh, variations in, in what I just told you um, however there's um, Indonesian Moroccan um, version um, and then how the new moon is seen uh, that also has to do with uh, when uh, Ramadan ends um, or, or begins uh, because it's all dependent on the lunar cycle um, so that's the uh, main gist of what um, is the important portions of Ramadan. Um, th this is a very festive occasion. And I, I hope this has um, helped you understand and perhaps dispelled some myths um, about Ramadan. Thank you for listening.